New at six, medical professionals have one goal, to help the patient. A lot of times that includes tending to the patient's mental health. But what about taking care of themselves and their own mental health? A range of providers admitted to our Courtney Friedman that that's rare. So a federal bill was just passed in the hopes of changing that. Burnout and stress is rampant in the medical field. I think that almost everybody, every physician has been um, at least connected to someone who they've lost through physician suicide. The pandemic really didn't give us any time to breathe. Marianne Lozano is a medical surgical tech at University Hospital who's open about her own mental health. I myself have been uh, diagnosed with PTSD from an abusive marriage. I love to, pr to provide care for my patient, but uh, there are some situations that are truly overwhelming. Dr. Jennifer Gemmel knows overwhelming. She's the emergency department medical director at Methodist Hospital. Sometimes the things that I see at work, those situations would come home with me. But both women admit most of their colleagues never get help. The fear that you're gonna be considered weak or the fear that you're gonna be considered unable to, to do the job that you've trained for. And I, I'm positive that in most cases, that's just absolutely not true, but it's getting over that perception that is a huge, huge hurdle. That fact acknowledged this spring during the passage of the federal Dr. Lorna Breen Healthcare Provider Protection Act. It authorizes funding for mental health training and services for healthcare professionals, supports education campaigns to encourage healthier work conditions, and calls for research on causes and impact of physician burnout. Both Gemmel and Lozana want their colleagues to know struggling with mental health does not make you a worse provider. It just makes you human. We are all human and we're not made of stone. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.